Hi everyone, it's Marie from Touchy Soap and we're going to make some soft bars today. So I've got my oils here. I'm using uh, coconut oil, 80%, 15% shea butter and 5% castor oil. And I'm um, super fatting at 20%. So this is um, a recipe I got uh, from one of the soapers on YouTube. So I thought it sounded pretty good. I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to add my lye water to it. And I'm going to aim for a light green color with a spearmint lime fragrance. Um, actually, essential oils. So we'll see what that turns out like. Okay, and you may notice I've changed my camera's position. I thought I'd try a different spot, see if that's any better, because I didn't like the lighting with the other position. It was kind of higher up, and um, my overhead lighting, their little pot lights, didn't seem to quite work. Okay, put the stick blender in here. Turned it on at the power bar, that would help. Okay. So we're going to put some color in here and we're going to use some green chrome. Just a little bit. See how that turns out. Actually, we'll use a little bit more than that. I'm still experimenting with colors, so sometimes I'm not sure how much to put in. Oh, great. Air. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, actually, that's a nice color. Okay, I'm going to put the... Uh, green away because clutchy as I am, I'm probably going to upend it and it'll go flying everywhere. So, you can see that's quite a nice light limey green, minty green color, but it's not all mixed in. I'm just going to got some flecks in it. I should have probably mixed the um, the pigment with uh, a little bit of glycerin. So I'm not sure how glycerin would fare with the salt bars. No idea. Okay, well, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just going to be pouring them in the in the molds, and I'm using individual molds, and I'm not going to gel them. So we'll see how that works. Okay, I think I think we're done with the stick blender. Um, yeah. And I'm going to put in my fragrance oil, or think fragrance oil. These are actually essential oils that I'm using. And I've got them mixed with my castor oil in here. I sometimes do that. It helps to anchor the scent somewhat. So they say. I've really, I've not made enough to compare really with and without. But all right, let's get this a mix. It's probably going to put a little bit of a yellow cast on my green color because the lime essential oil is actually lime green. It's quite pretty, but you've got to count for that when you're making your colors. Okay, so salt. This is just sea salt that I found at the grocery store, Whole Foods. I did buy some sea salt at the drugstore. Just, I just happened to be there. I hadn't really planned on 
making um, salt bars, but I saw this sea salt there, so I bought it. And then, when I finally looked at the recipes for salt bars, and I thought, oh, you need it fine, fine salt. Because the one I got at the, li uh, the library, <laughs> get salt at the library, do you, Marie? At the um, drugstore is, um, well, it's the size of peas. It's like little grumblies of peas, so I would have had to grind that. So, I still have it in case I need to use it eventually, but for now I've got this nice one, and this is nice and thick. And I don't know if you can hear it. Squinch, squinch, squinch. That's the salt. It smells minty. Okay, so I'm not going to play with this much more. I'm just going to put it in my mold. So clear room. Okay, I got this at Winners, or Home Sense actually. And it's, of course it's a baking uh, mold, but it's really nice because it's really, it's really stiff. Like it, it doesn't bend much, so that it gives a lot of support to the, um, to the cavities. So they're not going to distort. Okay, now, to pour this without making a mess. It pours actually quite nicely. I've never tried a salt bar, like using one, so I have no idea. I, I've heard people rave about them, um, so I thought, well, far be it for me to judge without trying. clean this on the side, won't we? Okay. Got every little bit there. Okay. Whoa! That's a heavy. Boom, boom, boom. We will let these guys sit overnight and um, see what they look like tomorrow. There they are. Bye for now. Hi everyone. It's time to take the salt bars out of the mold and see how they turned out. I kind of played already with these a little bit, so I took this one out a little bit earlier and it did kind of, um, if you can see this, Break off, whoops, break off a little bit um, on the end because I wasn't all that gentle with it. But um, we'll see how the other ones are. And they should fall. Doink. Oh, it's still the, the corners are not, um, corners are still a little bit. But I guess that's the nature of salt bars. From what I gather, they are quite crumbly. They are gentle. Yep, it's still not bad though. They smell really nice, very minty. And um, I was expecting them to feel very oily, but they don't. They're very smooth, and they're actually a little sparkly. And I didn't put any sparkle in them, but they um, they just, I guess it's the salt in them that's just giving them that little, well, that one lost a bit of its, of its bottom. Um, but yeah, it's the salt in them that gives them a little bit of a, of a sparkle. So... These are uh, actually quite um, quite delightful looking, and I guess they'll be rustic. I like the sound rustic on the bottom, just like weathered weathered salt bars. I don't know. Maybe I should 
have waited a little bit longer to take them out. But I do want to uh, smooth down the edges a little bit. So let's have a look. We'll leave the other ones in there for now. Actually, they, um, they seem to behave quite well. So, here we are. Salt bar. Here we go. So, thanks for watching.